What's up everybody, it's Jim and I Ochiha. I'm here on NASCAR Heat 5, got the next gen cars at Bristol for the Bass Pro Shops NRA night race. So, getting right into it. Oh no, I'm letting everybody go for a minute. Everybody can just kind of sort this out. It's what I normally do when I start at the back, but I love starting at the back because I love passing every single car on the track. Well, ooh, ooh, boy, she's a loose one. Oh, sheesh. Okay. I'm going to use this one for right now. Now that all that's... Oh. <laughs> Alright, boys. I'm going to need for y'all to go. Get a single file so I can get the passing. Otherwise, I'm going to wear my front bumper out. Oh, there it goes. Bye. One Cody through here. <laughs> okay. Let's go, people. I'm going to start getting the bumper now. I'm just trying to give y'all time to get kind of single file a little bit, but not happening so I'm wasted enough time let's go Bro, oh my gosh why do you break so freaking hard go look at this shit Thanks for messing up the front of my car, dude. Oh, damn. Look at that. Horrible. Thanks, bro. Come on, Swervez. Let's go. Oh, come on, Gregson. You pushed me up into him. There we go. So he tried. I have to slow down so much just to accommodate their speed. Back up for a minute. I might not get stage points this time, but you know what? It is perfectly fine. We aren't doing a championship for this one yet. I mean, technically I can't either way because the game is still messed up for me. So, I can't do anything. That's why every time I load in, it says zero, zero, zero on everything. And every time I complete a race, it still kicks me right back out to the main menu. Like the Xbox home menu. Completely out of the game. So, I can't do a championship or anything to actually get points. So... Arctic Gaming 970 and I were debating doing like a split screen championship where we'd every stage and every end of the race we'd have to write down and calculate the points ourselves and everything but we want to do a full NASCAR championship full season just to see who would come out on top you know 
racing as teammates. So, I mean, we want to get that done, but oops, it goes waiting. With how much the game is still, come on, people. How much the game is still kind of messed up and glitchy and all this other stuff. We currently can't do anything, so we either have to wait or just literally have to write everything down, take screenshots, whatever, just to figure out the points. Alright, where are we at on tires? Everything's alright. Ten seconds ahead. Okay, bro, come on. Come on now. You're the slowest one every week. Honestly. I keep saying it. Mr. Hendrick should just go ahead and make that Xfinity car full time and put Bowman in it. Put somebody else in the 48. Or bring back another number, something. Heck, you would you would think or you would have thought that Trackhouse would assign Carson to a deal instead of Zane Smith. But Carson has been doing the Hendrick Sims too. So maybe that could be in play sometime soon. Bring Carson to Hendrick Motorsports? It. He's aggressive. And yes, he's learned his lesson the hard way of being over aggressive. But I mean, I feel like he fits in the Chevy camp pretty good. Popular driver, doing good in the truck series right now. I mean, yes, I'd like to see him do an Xfinity series. Like, I mean, I know he's driving in it, but it's not full time. I would like to see him do at least, at least one full-time Xfinity campaign, something. Get more experience, get more seat time. All right, people, come on. Because, I mean, with Trackhouse signing Zane Smith and Shane. I know Shane's not full-time yet either, but that's, that's what I'm saying. He's got to, you can't just expect him to come in full-time. Never really driven any of these cars, whether it's trucks, Xfinity cars, or Cup cars. I mean, yeah, he won his first race, but everybody was on an even playing field. He took full advantage of that. So, I mean, he's going to be running Cup. He's going to be running Xfinity and truck races. And, I mean, obviously Carson's doing really good in the 42 right now. Like, I think that's the best I've seen that 42 run in a long time. Oh, yes, sir. They might not be pitting, but I will. See, I didn't even go back that far. We were putting a good bit of people right, lap down. Come on, Belenny. saying someone should give Carson a chance to at least help him develop as a race car driver because I feel like he, he has something he and Ross were kind of in that same position to where it's just like okay there's something there it just needs to be refined I 
And I mean, you see, he almost won a championship last year, talking about Ross. And I mean, yeah, I know this year hasn't quite been the same. Sure, he did Nashville, which that was gorgeous, by the way. I just hope that he picks it up at the right time and makes another decent championship run. And I know that the run at Martinsville last year, literally the last lap is what saved him, but he can't do it this year. He's going to have to figure out a legit way to do it. But I mean, I feel like he has the talent for it. <clears throat> I mean, if he makes the final four this year, that would probably be, I would love that. But just the way this year has gone, I'm, I'm not quite sure if that four is possible. Certain drivers have been turning it up these past few weeks, months even. So, I mean, it's a bunch of good competition right now. And then you got Talladega coming up this weekend. Anybody could win there. But you already know Ford normally dominates that. But it just kind of comes down to who's there at the end. Who's left at the end. Ooh, Ross. I don't know what happened. It just seems like everybody fell off. point where they are in the playoffs you would expect at least a Hendrick car to make it to the final four maybe one of the Toyotas definitely a Ford whether it's the like the six the 17 probably goes further than the six but I don't know kind of hope more than one Hendrick car makes it to the final four even though all that's left is the 24 and the five I know but still I want Ross to move on. You need Kyle Busch to get his shit together. and Hell, hopefully he wins Talladega this weekend. Something. Just need the Chevy boys to get their stuff together. And people keep saying Byron keeps lucking into wins, but at the same time, if you're in the right position at the right time, isn't that the whole goal of racing? Yeah, I mean, you can just straight up beat somebody, dominate the whole race. That's flexing muscle, but you can just out-pit somebody or get ahead of somebody on just a little technical shit. That's a win, too. That's a legit win. I mean, the only time I don't feel like it's a legit win is just like when it's rain shortened, but even still, you have to have some strategy for that, too. Although, like Xfinity last year at Chicago, just, I don't think like that, that just wasn't fair at all. They could have done something different. I just don't think they even wanted to. It just seemed like they didn't care enough to get that race finished at all. They just kind of gave up real quick. All right, people, I'm going to need for y'all to hurry up. Oh, oh, somebody wrecked up there. I see it. I see it. Okay, well, where's a caution flag if you got this many people having freaking problems? What's up, Larson? Oh, that's like, I probably should let you go, but that's not going to happen. Yep. 
Denny Hypocrite, I mean Hamlin. You know how it goes. Mr. Always, right? And another thing, I wonder why it took so long for Kurt Busch to finally announce his retirement. I mean, I don't know he still has concussion like problems and all this other stuff, but if you knew that, why didn't you just announce it sooner? I mean, we all assumed and we all knew he was, wasn't driving. This took so long. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, y'all need to go. Why is a ghost car? What the hell? It was a night race, but I didn't know it was haunted. Oh, well, there you go. Well, it's not really much of a race anymore. Everybody just fell the hell off. What happened? They were so strong. When I was in practice, I, I'm like, I got so close to hitting the time thing. The time thing. But I couldn't hit it, so I was sitting here going, okay, maybe this is just going to be a long race. I don't know, they just fell the hell off. Okay, yeah, that was my fault right there. First of all, where is second? I'm back there somewhere. You know what? Some of y'all can just go. Yeah, not you, Danny. Oh shit, no. Excuse me, Larson, uh, Larson needs to go through. <laughs> Literally just giving people their laps back. Trying to get back here to Bell. Nah, that was as close as he's gonna get. Not time to pass some fuckers again. Kevin, let's go, bro. Bro, that guy hit by a towel. Woo. Had to kind of slam on brakes and get out of the freaking... Lost everything. Didn't want to hit Ross. <laughs> What's up, bruh?
Like, I mean, I even turned it up to 103 to match the speed rating that was on here. Keep it together. What's up, Larson? I mean, y'all fuckers, where is Jenny? Is he behind me? Is he up there? I hope that's not him up there. Chase. I know he's your friend and all, but you gotta go. Blaney, bro, get the McFuck out of the way. I swear to God, block me again, too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Iron horns are coming, bro. You know it. Fuck out of the way. And they even won Charlotte this year. That should have been Byron's win, too. And you want it to be Kyle Bush, but you know it's still Reddit. Wreck, bro. Just wreck. Oh, Denny. Oh, Denny. choice to make. <laughs> you had plenty of room, right? That's what you would have said. Fine. There we go. I'm just going to run the high side for a second. Little two goes. goal now is to catch Bell. But everybody will lap down. It wasn't the original goal for this, this race. I wanted to actually fight. Man. It just seems like every time I do this, I put it on a decent length race. It starts out really strong and then they just fade to ass by the end of the race. The AI stuff set to normal, I believe. 
I will check it after this race though. Well, I'm gonna have to load back in and everything because like I said earlier, it just kicks me back out to the Xbox home screen. Every time I try to finish a race or do cha change settings, anything. Like, I literally have to go back to the other, like, Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> and yawn. Like, I literally have to go back to the original game and not in the next gen update side to change the settings and then back out, go to the next gen update, and then try to race it. Because if I try to change settings, it just kicks me back out to the home screen, out of the game completely. I don't know, maybe this is just a the AI or probably just a product of that. The game not being... Bro, Dylan, you're a cunt for that. There's no need for that. You just lack of talent. Okay, people, I'm trying to even go a little bit slower for y'all. Holy shit. Okay, okay, what the hell was that? Car did not respond very well at all. You know what? No. I was gonna pit, but you know what? Fuck it. bro what's up you should be up higher than 13 like second would be great <laughs> Pit. I just did it for the hell of it. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna fix anything. Just wanted some freshies and to give people time to go ahead, do whatever. Oof, maybe I should have fixed the damage. Man. <laughs> All right, let's see where everybody is. Hey. Now, let's see if we can run everybody down in a certain amount of laps. You know, we got some freshies on, fuck the damage. Damage isn't a problem here. We just need freshies. 
and room to race. Which they're not giving me. Come on, Kirk, fuck! Get your Jordan riding ass the fuck out of the way. Pretty much turned into a Toyota sellout. Well, there's Truex. There's Denny. And the 20's all the way the hell up there. Sorry, you can get the fuck out of my way. No one gives a shit about you, bro. You know, since nobody else on the track has balls enough to fucking wreck you. Like, bro, Larson. All those times he's just been pushed around and pushed around. I mean, I know he's done some pushing, too. But I'm just saying. He just keeps getting pushed around, wrecked. And then he, he's not even mad. That's the main thing. He's not even mad or upset that he got wrecked. He's like, oh, we'll just go on to next week. Try to do better. Fuck no, bro. If you get wrecked, I want to see you get upset. I mean, I know they're trying to maintain professionalism and all this other stuff. I want to... If a driver deserves to be cussed the hell out, he should be cussed the hell out. And right now, that driver is Denny Hamlin. I'm gonna sit here and do all this crap, win a race, and then talk junk after the race. But then, if someone does that same shit to you, you'd be over there crying your fucking ass off like a little baby. The biggest hypocrite I have ever seen in sports. down. I can see him up there, I believe. All right, clear outside. All right, you're clear. I believe I can see him just right up there. Come on. Oh my god, people, get the fuck out of my way. Bro, if you don't move, I will end your whole shit. Oh my god, Suarez, move. I got five to go. You know, they're holding me up. He's right here. Alright, alright, alright. Four to go. He's on the outside up there. Come on, people. I don't need y'all to be wrecking right now. We're trying to wreck me. There we go. That's the fight that I wanted. I wanted to have to claw my way to a win rather than just feel like it's handed to me. Oh man, Reddick, move. All right, here we go, here we go. Two to go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. people I'm literally in a hurry <laughs> come on there it is okay well 
I don't know what to say about this race. I didn't even get a 103. Like, dude, this race was weird, but no, I'm not even going to. 